Let's talk for a minute about Billy Napier being hired at Florida. That one was big yesterday. Billy Napier appears to me to be a perfect hire uh, for Florida. He understands recruiting. He understands the name of the game. He's worked with Saban and Dabo. He knows the recruiting blueprint. He is familiar with that area of the country. He was incredibly successful in close games, in blowouts, etc. The guy knows how to win, period. He's been over to the West Coast. He's been back over here. This is, this is a great hire. Billy Napier is a smart head coach, and it, you, you hate to use the term home run because I think everybody used it with Tom Herman. Everybody has used it in the past with a bunch of these other coaches. The truth is you don't really know if the guy is a good fit for the school until he's there. So we'll know in about two, three years whether or not he is cut out for this gig I would believe that he is. He has been waiting around for one of these. He turned down Auburn. He turned down South Carolina. He's turned he's turned down a multitude of jobs, waiting for the right one to open up. And he knew, coming into this season, that he was going to have a choice of different gigs that would be more suited to what he wants to do and places that will actually give him the things that he needs to be successful. That's the biggest thing when it comes to college football coaching. Let's see, bald poke fans said, whoo, that was close. <laughs> and Matt Miller said, if he doesn't take the job, they're going to go dumpster driving. Yes, yes, indeed. So, yes, back to Billy Napier. Fantastic hire. I think it's genius. Uh, I think that LSU possibly missed out on a big-time hire here. I do not believe that they know anything that Florida doesn't as to why LSU would not have wanted to hire Billy Napier. Uh, the truth of the matter is, LSU still dealing with a whole lot of stuff inside that athletic department, but also I don't think the administration was fully aligned. Uh, and you heard Scott Strickland talk about this quite a bit about how, and this was in the press conference right after they fired Dan Mullen. Everything was aligned. Everybody is in lockstep. Bring in the coach. He's going to be the voice. He's going to be the guy. That's exactly what Saban's got. I, I don't know that anybody's going to get in the way at Florida. I think this is perfect for him. I don't know that LSU has that set up. So we'll uh, we'll hit on LSU in just a minute. But yes, Florida, Billy Napier, absolutely fantastic job. We're waiting for his staff. We'll see what happens. Obviously, he's got a ball game this weekend, and then he'll be on his way down to Gainesville. We'll see what happens. So, But he's got to hire a staff, and that will be where you know whether or not he knows what he's doing. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.